Successful waste management in cities depends on many different parameters, but the main one is to understand it as a system and not just as a sum of infrastructure and logistics. It is a system with technical, social, financial and institutional dimensions. And if you want to build a system, you have to think in a systemic way. The most usual mistake is that people tend to use about waste management in terms of infrastructure. And then they do nothing because they wait the government to deliver it. The most successful approach is to think about waste management as a system apart from human relations and try to change it. I would say that Latin America uh, shows the way for informal sector worldwide. Experiments have been done a lot with the association of uh, cartoneros in Buenos Aires, with the catadores in Brazil. And one thing we know for sure from Latin America experiences is that informal sector, if it gets organized and be part of the system, it has to offer a lot. The other thing we know is that we have to change the attitude of municipalities and business owners against the informal sector. Informal sector recyclers are not enemies, even if sometimes they are in competition with us for the same material. Informal sector recyclers in most cities are the only organized activity around waste management and we have to deal them as partners. The most important asset for better waste management is human capital, it's human resources. So no matter how difficult or easy it is the waste management situation in each municipality, there is one simple step that you have to start. Create a core of people that understand the situation, that are capable to interact, give them a vision and management capacity, and let them work on that. If you build such a core, then you will find the funds the technical elements, the infrastructure and the social aspects required. If you don't have such a core of people, you will never do it.